Congratulations, you are now a proud owner of a Floraline pump. As you know, Floraline pumps is amongst the top players in the fluoropolymer pumps for all kinds of chemical industries. Preventive and regular maintenance of the pump takes care of the 70% life cycle cost of any chemical process pump. Since at Floraline Pumps, we believe that performance is everything. We ensure we are with you from the beginning, that is from purchase onwards. As a part of our commitment and continued quality of our service levels, we offer through this DVD presentation an easy, simple introduction to pumps, which also addresses all common installation, assembly and maintenance issues. Welcome to the world of Floraline Pumps. Let us look at some common definitions of pumps and pump parts that are needed to be known and used by you. A centrifugal pump is a rotodynamic pump that uses a rotating impeller to increase the pressure and flow rate of a liquid. Priming is an action required to evacuate all the air bubbles from the pump and pipeline before startup in order to create a vacuum to pump the liquid. Cavitation and action that occurs due to the presence of air bubbles, also known as starving. Let's look at some related steps and actions. Step for pump priming to avoid cavitation. Suction supply above the pump, suction supply below the pump. Equipments related to pumps. We shall now look at the equipments that we shall be using that are related to pumps. We shall also understand some do's and don'ts related to installation. The foot wall is found at the bottom of the suction line of the pump. Before installation, you have to make sure that the foot wall is placed without any foreign particles. All the air bubbles should also be removed. Suction and discharge pipe. Pipes are required for suction and discharge of the liquid at the desired height. Trainer, device used to separate liquids from solids and installed in the suction line of the liquid. Foreign particles tend to enter and choke the pump. To avoid this, we recommend regular checking and cleaning of strainers. Non-return valve, valve that is installed in the discharge line of the pump, preventing the backflow of the liquid. This helps the pump to run without any back pressure. Do remember that the non-return wall should be placed at a minimum of 1.5 meters above the discharge flag. Routing of the base plate. Step 1. Clean all the areas of the base plate that will come into contact with the ground. Step 2. Build a dam around the foundation. Step 3. Thoroughly wet the foundation that will come into contact with the ground. Step 4. Pour grout through the grout hole into the base plate up to the level of the dam. Next, place the pump with motor on the base frame. Now, check the driver rotation and coupling alignment. Is it fine? Great! Now, align the pump with the motor using dial indicators. How do you do this? Pay close attention. Step 1. Attach two dial indicators on the pump's coupling hub. Attach one indicator so that the indicator rod comes into the contact with the perimeter of the driver's coupling hub. This indicator is used to measure parallel misalignment. B. Attach the other indicator such that its rod comes in contact with the inner end of the driver's coupling hub. This indicator is used to measure angular misalignment. C. Rotate the pump's coupling hub to check the indicator are in contact with the driver's coupling hub, but do not bottom out. Adjust the indicators if necessary. Alignments, coupling and motor. Proper ways of alignment can be corrected by horizontal correction, 
vertical correction. IMS segment. Let me show you a PVDF pump with an internal mechanical seal assembly. It is a very clear stepwise procedure once again. Stage 1. Shaft with bearing assembly. Oil cup or side glass indication. Bearing housing assembly with adopters. Stage 2 Mechanical Seal Assembly Now let us have a look at the assembly of a PVDF pump with a Teflon bellows seal. This is a clear stepwise assembly.